Good evening and welcome to the Wednesday, April 14th meeting of the Lawrence City Council Budget and Finance Committee. Uh, my name is Dave Abdu and I am your vice chair and acting chair this evening. I'm joined by my colleague, Councilor at Large Pavel Payano and our council president, uh, Mark LaPlante. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, read the, the legal stuff. Um, that I'm required to do. Um, and uh, it goes like this, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting laws, Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 18, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting is being conducted via remote participation. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access proceedings as provided for in this order. A reminder that persons who would like to listen to or view this meeting while in progress may do so using the following locations that are stated in our agenda this evening. The Lawrence City Council webpage, the Facebook page of the Lawrence City Council, and you can find those, both of those links on the landing page of the Lawrence City Council website page. Um, with that, um, I would ask that we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of, America, of America and to the Republic, the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And um, I would ask at this time that we take a moment of silence to um, recognize the lives lost this week and throughout the years, these past years, uh, due to gun violence and uh, the taking of lives. Thank you. Um, and let's see, I, I believe it would probably be appropriate if we set aside, um, and I'd recommend that we set aside the minutes for approval. Um, I want to commend the clerk's office. Um, they have definitely uh, been at work and uh, we have several sets of minutes to approve. Um, but again, I would ask that we set those aside to the next meeting of the Budget and Finance Committee, at which time we will uh, take those votes. Um, with that, um, I would ask that we entertain or we will entertain um, new business item 5621. And that is order to expend grant funds, PEG access and cable fund in the amount of $568,000, $568,000 and six cents. And that is submitted by Messiel Jordan, the Chief Financial Officer for our Lawrence Public Schools. Um, Ms. Jordan is with us this evening and I would ask her to unmute herself, um, identify herself for the record and um, tell us why we're here to vote on this this evening and, and what this item does. Sure, Ms. my Jordan, name is Mas. Thank you. So my name is Maciel Jordan. I'm CFO for Lawrence Public Schools. And I'm here requesting for you to appropriate the $568,000 that you just um, ex explained. Um, this is a grant that comes over to our media, the media department. It's exactly how that media department is funded. Um, we have TV studios in seven different schools. Um, it pays for the salaries of the individuals um, that run that department, as well as provides enrichment opportunities for our students. It pays for, we normally hire students, for example, to help with the cameras and most aspects of that area. So we also hire students for that as well. And there's uh, 10 teachers that help us, approximately 10 teachers that help us with the enrichment part of that with our students. So that's the majority. Obviously there's more that, that goes to it, but that's the biggest, um, what the biggest picture of it all goes towards. The maintenance of all those studios and so on. Thank you. And um, would that 568 
zero five nine and six cents be expended in one fiscal year or is that over multiple years? So it's my understanding that that is a breakout from monies from last year that flew into this year and also this year. So it should cover because due to the pandemic, the last quarter of last uh, fiscal year's payment was not um, requested. I, and so we it includes last year's fiscal last quarter and all of this year. Thank you. I have, um, I don't have any question, any further questions at this time. I would ask uh, Mr. Piano or Mr. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So, I mean, the, the question that I have is that it, it's, the funds is a pretty large amount and I'm surprised that there's no real supporting documents that uh, came with this. I mean, it, it does sound self-explanatory as, as far as like what I think the grant is about, um, but I, there, there, there's no, um, you know, but besides the presentation that we're hearing today, um, there's nothing else on this. Uh, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, how, how many students, like what schools, um, you know, it's not that there, there, there's something that would make me vote against it, but I think that um, I'm interested in being a, a little bit more informed um, than what we are now. You know, um, the only thing that I see on our agenda is just, um, the motion as a uh, as a way or as maybe um, something was submitted and um, I, I don't have uh, those documents. So uh, sure, I'm, I'm so wondering I, if. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, so, no, I was just saying I could actually tell you what the seven schools are. I don't have the number of students, but that's something I can uh, definitely get for you at a later date. Um, but the seven schools are the high school, SLE, Arlington, Frost, Gilmet, the Partham, the Weatherby and all of our partnership. How, how are the students, uh, I'm, I'm guessing the students are chosen by the, um, by a specific uh, AV uh, teacher. Is it one AV teacher across the entire system? Is it per school? No, so I was told there was approximately 10. So I assume that it's one per school. And then for the larger schools, there's definitely gonna be more than one. I can't imagine that the high school would just have one. Um, teacher uh, with the enrichment, but that's something I can gladly also follow up with you. Uh, is there a, 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 you know, usually grants have some type of like um, a mission statement or like there, there's, there's a certain sort of, um, you know, when, when you apply for a grant, you kind of state like, you know, what the, what the purpose was. Is it possible to share that with us as well? And also, um, you know, essentially what, what, you hope to obtain uh, from this grant? I mean, I, I can guess at what we hope to obtain, but I think it, it would be great to, to know for sure. Sure, so I can provide the documentation that comes with the grant. Um, and, and then I'll also find out how many students and then the amount of teachers per school. Um, thank you. I, I will say that, you know, normally uh, in committees when when something isn't uh, necessarily present, like information is not presented, I usually tend to. Hello. Uh, I usually tend to not vote. But if um, you give us some assurance that um, this will be sent to us before our next council meeting, um, since it's a grant and not a um you know, it's a grant and not necessarily asking for money from us, then I, I would definitely um, be in support of it. So, uh, so with that, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I'll make a motion to uh, send this with the full council with a favorable recommendation um, as, as long as that, uh, that information is shared with the council as well. Okay, there's a motion by Councilor Piano. Is there a second? I would note that we've also been joined by uh, City Councilor at Large, Anna Levy. And I um, do not hear a second. I do not have a, I do not hear a second. So the motion. Second uh, for lack of, I, well, I'm not sure that's in order at this point. Yeah, uh, yeah Mr. President, I don't think you, you can. 
Thank you very much. I am I am not a part of this committee, although I would anyway. There's a question that I would like to ask once the motion is made, if, if that would be entertained. If not, I certainly will respect that and can do that at, at a different time, Mr. Chairman. Um, no, I'll, I'll entertain it for the purpose of the question. Yes. A very quick question to Ms. Jordan. Uh, what's the source of the grant funds? It's um, Comcast and Verizon are the grantors of the grant. That's it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you so much. Uh, I will reach out to the school department later. Thank you. Very good. Thank uh, you, Mr. Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Pan. Uh, just, just one final uh, question, um, Mr. Jordan. If, if you could also, as well, um, you know, in, in, when this is sent out to us, just uh, kind of describe what, how the the funds are going to be spent. Um, um, I, I greatly appreciate that as well. Uh, Mr. Chair, I, I, I'd like to uh, make a, uh, the same motion I made before, um, uh, make a motion to send us to the full council with a favorable recommendation, um, as long as uh, the, document, the documentation is also shared with the city council. Very good, there's a motion to send to the full council the favorable recommendation, is there a second? Uh, Mr. Chair, since there's no second, I'd like to make a motion at table. There's a motion to table. Um, is is there a second? Actually, there, there's no need. Um, roll call, please. Okay, roll call for document 56, 5621. 56, Consul, 56, yeah, 5621. 20. Yep. Consular Anna Levy. Councillor Anna Levy. Councillor Anna Levy. Councillor Pavel Payano. Yes. Chairman David Abdu. Um. I, I vote yes for the purpose of fulfilling the vote, but I am I am concerned with my uh, my uh, judgment on the fact that it didn't get a second. It it did not get. So, do do tables need a second? Oh, tables oh. might need a second. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Council Council Levy, yes, we we could hear you now. Can you hear us? Can Council Levy, can you hear us? Can you hear me now? We can hear you. Can you hear us, Councillor? Okay. Yes. Now, yes. Awesome. Awesome. So, Councillor, for your um, for your knowledge, we are on item number fifty six twenty one. And it's the consideration of an order to expend grant funds, uh, PEG access um, and cable fund in the amount of $568,059.06 as submitted by the Lawrence Public Schools. We have had um, two motions, um, one to pass um, and one to table. Um, neither had a second. Um, and I do apologize to those <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chair, I'd, I'd like to uh, redo my motion to uh, send this to the full council with a favorable recommendation um, as, uh, as long as the uh, proponents um, send the documentation to the city council uh, before our next meeting. And a motion to send this item to the full council, the favorable recommendation with the appropriate material as stated by Councilor Piano. Is there a second? Second. It has been properly seconded. Is there discussion? Hearing no discussion, um, Madam yes, Clerk. Yes. Oh, Council Levy, please. So this form is uh, this fund is from the from a school. Which one of the school? So this funding goes to the entire district. What it funds is comes from Verizon and Comcast. 
And okay. what it does is it funds our entire media department. We right. have TV studios in seven schools, Lawrence High School, um, South Lawrence East, Arlington, Frost, Gilmette, Partham, Weatherby, and Oliver Partnership. Mm -hmm. um, it funds the staff. It funds um, the enrichment program we have for our children for this. Um, we have approximately 10 teachers, about five-time full-time employees within that department as well. And then we work with the teachers and the students and the students participate, like the students get paid stipends to be able to work the cameras and help with editing. You know, they become part of the process um, with the department as well. So this is for this year, next year? So this is part of last, last fiscal's quarter. Okay. That due to the pandemic, it was not brought to council for appropriation and then all of this year. Thank you. Thank you, Council Levy. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, I would ask that Madam Clerk, please take a roll call. A roll call for document 5621 that was sent to the full council with favorable recommendation and providing the, the documentation by Councilor Payano that he stated before the next meeting. Yeah. Councilor Anna Levy? Yes. Councilor Pavel Payano? Yes. Chairman David Abdu? And the chair votes yes. The motion passes. The motion passed. Three okay. zero. Um, and again, that's with a favorable recommendation to include the materials requested this evening. Uh, Ms. Jordan, do you have any questions of us? Um, I do not. I do want to clarify just to make sure I do provide um, answers to the right questions for the prior item, if you don't mind. Oh, sure, please. Um, I provide documentation for the grant, exactly how many students and teachers per school, and a detail of the budget of the funds. Mr. Payano, is that, is that satisfactory? Uh, uh, Ms. Jordan, can you repeat it one more time, please? Sure thing. You'd like to know how many students, you'd like the documentation for the grant, um, how many teachers per school, and also the budget for this grant. Yes, that sounds right. Thank you. Very good. Madam Clerk, do you have what you need? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And Ms. Jordan, are you good? Yes, I am. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. All right. So uh, that motion passed 3 0. And we are now on to item number 5821 outstanding prior year invoices in the amount of $61,270. Once again, submitted by Ms. Jordan, the CFO of the Lawrence Public Schools. Ms. Jordan, if you will, tell us why we're here. Sure. So um, back in September or October, I believe I let you guys know that I'd be back because I had one prior year invoice um, for you to approve. And I suspected that there would be more given that one day in March, we asked people to leave their desks and then they came back, as you know, a day in the fall and they came back for a very short period of time at that moment due to um, the in and out or the remote work that was done for us back and forth through the district in the fall before we permanently went remote until school went back into session. So I did give the opportunity for the clerks to go back to their desks and gather um, any prior year invoices that may not have been submitted due to, you know, the abrupt interruption of our, of our work life that happened last spring. And so here we are with the invoices that they were not able to submit. And I know that there's also going to be a little bit of wondering as to how we are going to be able to pay for this. Um, I just want to remind you that we did roll over money from last year's budget to this year that will be used to cover this expense. So it does not have an impact on the current year budget. Okay, so thank you. I would note that the materials we received, we have a cover letter from you, but I do not see the actual invoices. Oh, my apologies. Um, I can de most definitely submit those to you. 
I can send them all over to you via email at this very moment. Very good, thank you. And that is One Goal, WB Mason, Fortune Fundraising and Audio Hearing. Correct, and then I did accept that it was during the time of um, this interruption that we've recently had, um, tried to submit an amendment to this memo to the city clerk um, to add one additional invoice as well. So it seems that that update was not um, possible. It certainly wouldn't be at this point. I don't know okay. if that was a form of a question or a statement. We could not, um, we could not amend it now. Okay. So then you will expect me back for one additional invoice then. Um, just as, and that's just giving you um, the heads up on that. Thank you. Are there questions on this item? Yes. So are you going to be so you're going to be able to provide the invoices for all these four items? I will. I'm literally I'm setting it up right now to be able to add to an e an email to the clerk so she can um so it can be forwarded to you. Who is one goal? So one goal is a program offered by offered to the high school. So Give me one second. I'm, I apologize. Yep. And Mr. Chair, I also have a question once Councilor Levy is done. Thank you, Ms. Piano. Sure. Sorry, if you just give me one minute, I'm trying to just gather this. Council Levy, while we wait on Ms. Jordan, I would note that when we open the meeting, uh, we set aside the minutes, uh, the four packages of minutes for our approval until the next meeting. Trying to create some filler here during the silence. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <Sure>. That's good. <laughs> you don't want me to sing. <laughs> no. Why, why no? Why no? <laughs> I mean, uh, Mr. Chair, I, I sang for you. We all sang for you last week. I think it would only be fair uh, if you sang for us. That would be cruel and unusual punishment to anyone at home that's watching this. <laughs> Your birthday's coming. So, Ms. Jordan, why don't we... Um, Sorry, I'm actually trying to look up my documentation on exactly one goal because I don't want to misinform you okay. on exactly what the program is. Would it make sense, Mr. Chair, to move on to the next item and then come back to this? Yes, so we would do that procedurally by, um, what, can we table it and bring it back tonight? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I what, what I'll say is with, with, without the invoice, I, I probably would be voting present on, if, if we end up making a motion on this for the full council, I'll probably, probably be voting present, but I, if we table it, I will definitely make a motion to uh, to bring it back. So, so let's do it now. Let's motion to table. Second. All right. There's a motion to table, and there's a second. All those, uh, Madam Clerk, please take the roll. A roll call to table document 5821. Councilor Pavel Payano. Yes. Councilor Anna Levy. Yes. And Chairman David Abdu. 
Chair votes yes. So we've yes. set a, we've set 5821 on the table, um, and we will consider bringing it back after the next item. So moving on to the next item, which is item number 5921, which is the approval for city council approval to pay prior year invoice out of current year available funds to the Four Winds restaurant in the amount of $348.50 as presented by council president LaPlante. So with that, we have the material in front of us and we have the president with us. Mr. President, tell us why we're here to vote on this tonight. Sure, so thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, this was a prior year appropriation. This is for the reception that was held uh, after the last inauguration uh, that the Four Winds restaurant is the restaurant with Ray Lawrence Technical School. Uh, apparently uh, the invoice came late. Uh, we got word of the invoice sometime apparently and to Mr. Maloney's email account in early February. It is a prior year appropriate, a prior year expenditure, which means that we need council approval if we're gonna be paying it out for this year. So it's money owed to the great GLTS. Um, I, might, I, can't, I can't tell you why it waited so long and how it got on our desk so late. I can't tell you that, but it's here now and we owe the money, so. We well, certainly, certainly don't wanna be deadbeats. Are there questions of the president? Uh, Mr. Chair? Yes, sir, Mr. Priano. Uh, so, so it sounds like, you know, we sort of are already. So apologies to GLTS for uh, us not paying this bill. Uh, and I'd like to make a motion that we send it to the full council with favorable recommendation. Second. There's a motion and it's going to be seconded to send this item number 5921 approval of the city council to pay prior year invoice out of current year available to Four Winds Restaurant, which is the Greater Lawrence Technical School in the amount of $348.50. Madam Clerk, it's been properly seconded. Madam Clerk, please take the roll. A roll call for document 5921 that was sent to the full council with favorable recommendation. Councillor Anna Levy? Yes. Councillor Pavel Payano? Yes. And Chairman David Abdu? Yes. Thank you. Motion passed. Excellent. Uh, before we move on to item, well, you know, let's just move to item number 60. Uh, a correction. Um, uh, Ms. Jordan, are you prepared? To go I am. Back? All sure right. Thing. I'd entertain a motion to take 5821 off the table. So moved. Second. It's been, motion's been made and seconded to take 5821 off the table. Madam Clerk, please take a roll. Okay, roll call to take document 5821 out of table matters. Councilor Anna Levy? Yes. Councilor Pavel Payano? Yes. And Chairman David Abdu? Chair votes yes. Three no. Nothing. Motion passed. Thank you. You're welcome. Ms. Jordan, I believe you wanted to address the council. Sure. So thank you so much for um, letting me gather my notes. Um, so One Goal is a partner we've had for the past eight years that is a high school program where, that works with 11 and 12th graders to provide one year of college. Council Levy, did you have follow-up questions? I believe that was your original question. Did you have follow-up questions? No, thank you. Uh, Mr. Is there Chair? any other questions or concerns? Uh, Mr. Payano. Um, so my, my original, my, so my question, I mean, I, I think that the invoice probably would answer this. Like what dates are they, um, what dates were they serving um, the, the high school students? Sure. So this is um, last quarter. This is most of last year. The invoice actually does not have dates. So I would have to go back to um, the person who manages the program to get further detail because I'm I've already sent all these invoices over to the city clerk, so you should have them soon. Um, but there are no actual dates. It just has the due date of the actual invoice itself. It doesn't say the dates of service, per se. Okay. And um, do you happen? So what? What is a? What is the due date for that one? Sure. The due date is Jen is June thirtieth of twenty twenty. Okay. Um. I mean, I'd be I'd be interested in in, in learning if uh, this was a amount that was paid pre-COVID, 
uh, for the entire um, uh, for those entire two quarters. Uh, so I, I definitely would be if if you happen to have that knowledge with you and you could send that to us uh, in the future, I'd I'd appreciate that. Sure thing. I can most definitely have an answer to you before the next council meeting. So thank you. Um, Ms. Payana, do you have any follow-ups? Um, I, I do not. So um, is it my understanding that the motion will be sent? It is being sent to the clerk or it's being sent to us now? Not the so motion, the in sorry, do you have the documents? So the email, I just sent it to the city clerk right now. And it has the backup to all of those invoices. Okay. So, so this is not being sent to the full council? So Council Levy, it sounds like it's, it's being sent to the city clerk so the city clerk can then send it to, to the rest of the council and it'll be part of the, the, the docket. All right. Okay. Are there any? Does the comp? What? Well, what is the desire of the committee? Well, I I can make a motion to send it to the city clerk, but I will not send it with uh, full recommendation. I will send it without recommendation. So there's a motion on the floor to send this item to the council without a recommendation. Is there a second? Hearing no second, the motion dies. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'll 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 second the motion. Um, but but I'll, but I'll say that I I I'm not necessarily a fan of. Um, voting on items uh, when things are, are missing. Uh, but I understand that these are bills that have, you know, that are past due. Um, but uh, it definitely, it's, it's not, not, not a fan of, of, of doing that. So, but I'll, I'll second um, uh, Councilor Levy's motion. So there was a motion made by Council Levy to send to the full council without a recommendation. It was seconded by Mr. Piano. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Madam Clerk, I would ask that you please take a roll. A roll call for document 5821 that was sent to the full council without recommendation. Councilor Pavel Piano? Yes. Councilor Anna Levy? Councilor Anna Levy? <laughs> Councilor uh, Anna Levy? Uh, point of information, Mr. Chair. It sounds like Councilor Levy is um, is not online at the moment. Mr. Chairman, I'm available. I was listening to the discussion. I'm available to fill, oh, to fill in if that. that's helpful. So why don't we? Why don't we? Uh, yes. So, Mr. President, I would I would ask in that case that you. I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay, Councilor Anna Levy, you vote. Yes. Thank you. And Chairman David Abdu. And the chair votes yes for a 3-0 to send this to the full council without a recommendation. And I thank Mr. LaPlante for being available. Thank you. And I curse the technology. <laughs> <laughs> With that, um, the last, I last new item this evening is item number 6021, order to expend grant funds. HUD CDBG grant of $1,685,904 and a home grant in the amount of $890,762 and an emergency, emergency solutions ESG grant in the amount of $146,568 as submitted by Vilma Martinez Dominguez, a community development director. And she is with us this evening and I welcome her as I say, thank you to Ms. Jordan for the last few items and wish her well tonight. Ms. Martinez Dominguez, the floor is yours. Please introduce yourself for the record and tell us why we're here this evening. Good evening, counselors. Vilma Martinez Dominguez, Community Development Director for the City of Lawrence. And we're here as we are um, every year 
around this time uh, to uh, present our entitlement uh, grant funds from HUD. For our fiscal year 2022, which starts in July 1st, um, we received funding for, as you mentioned, Community Development Block Grant, our Home uh, Investment Partnership Grant, and the ESG Emergency Solutions Grant. For each of these items, uh, it's actually not estimated, it's actually the actual amount that we received. Uh, for 1,685,904 for our CDBG, uh, it's actually 875,762 for home, but we also added a program income that's anticipated, which brings it up to 890,762. And then our ESG, uh, we're receiving 146,568. So you have before you in your packet, you should have the breakdown of the budget that we put together uh, along with a, a table, an Excel table with all of the public services uh, applications and the allocations. Um, for the CDBG budget, you're, we have uh, $600,000 uh, in park and infrastructure improvements. Uh, and that will be a match for our park grant for the store of park. $80,000 in rehab support for our lead abatement grant, just project delivery. $10,000 as a match to Emea's house to house formerly homeless individuals from Lawrence. 180,287 for homeowner rehab projects. 268,520 for the payment due to HUD and the Gateway Section 8, uh, 108 loan. And 337,181 for administrative costs, which is capped at 20%. Also through the CDBG program, uh, we usually have the request for proposal process uh, for our public service and public facilities funding. Uh, the applications were made available on December 3rd, 2020, and were due back on January 22, uh, 2021. Unfortunately, we typically have a, a host uh, an open house, but because of COVID, uh, we actually um, decided to just go with a brand new um, we continue to uh, do quality improvement with our program and making sure that we provide support to our nonprofits who are applying. So this year we decided to uh, at office hours to, um, to allow all applicants to come in, schedule a time to come in during the week of January 4th through the 8th, and they have the opportunity to meet with our staff, our project officer, uh, one on one for additional guidance on their proposal. Uh, all of our efforts yielded uh, 23 applications for public, um, public services and, and uh, public facility combined uh, with funding requests totaling 533,746. Unfortunately, we only have 210,000 available typically every year because this is capped at 15%. Our Community Development Advisory Board, which is made up of residents uh, that review the applications and make, make funding uh, recommendations for the mayor. As you know, our staff does not review the application. We do not make recommendations and, or score the applications. So the membership of this Community Development Advisory Board uh, in alphabetical, alphabetical order, our state representative, uh, Marcos Devers, uh, community resident, Elizabeth Lavasta, former state rep, Juana Matias, Community resident Lori Mendoza, State Representative Frank Moran, Community resident Marta Rentas, and City Councilor Estela Reyes, who are now joined this year by Evelyn Rodriguez, a community um, resident. So I want to publicly thank them for their service. It's a, it's a long process, but um, they were amazing. And we want to thank Becky Janney for her years, many years of service on this board. She stepped down this last year. All applicants did a, conducted like a three minute presentation to the CDAP or Community Development Advisory Board on February 8th. And then that group met on the 17th to decide the recommendations. These recommendations as always are delivered to the mayor. So uh, they went to Mayor Vasquez on the, on the 19th who made some additional changes. And what you have before you, it's his final decision. A total of 21 public service activities including ESOL classes and youth employment which remain a priority for the administration, as well as two public facility projects were funded for a little under $200,000. A new category was added to the RFP process to support housing services uh, related to COVID. We saw that a lot of the nonprofits locally were doing extended work and we wanted to give an opportunity for them to apply uh, for funding to support their staffing. So um, 
we were able to provide this and it's also a high, a high priority need for the investment of our federal funds as it was identified in the consolidated plan which was it's brand new from 2020 to 2025 uh, and this is really to provide for the immediate needs of families impacted by COVID. For continued transparency and fairness and ongoing improvement of our evaluation process we used a criterion a rating criterion that was introduced now two years ago based on four major categories and helping to ensure that our HUD, no, our national objectives for HUD and the priority needs stated in the consolidated plan, uh, we're, we're in compliance with that. And then this rating criteria also speak to the applicants of capacity to appropriately carry out the proposed activity and manage the projects effectively with the goal of maximizing the impact and assess their ability to leverage other sources of funding. So a conflict of interest questionnaire and affidavit uh, form was also used to make sure that you know, if there's any uh, conflicts of interest of people that either work or have some relationship with the city, uh, um, it's disclosed. Um, and so for the home budget, uh, which you have received has 106,822 for housing rehab projects for homeowners. Again, $200,000 for our first time home buyers down payment assistance program. 131,364 for our Certified Community Housing Development Organizations, known as CHOTOs. And that's uh, to fulfill uh, HUD's requirement to set aside 15% for these organizations. And 350,000 for housing development projects is our major projects that set aside, you know, uh, affordable housing units for our community. And 87,576 for administrative costs, which are 10%, cap uh, about 10%. So. This evening, um, the last thing you have is the ESG funding. And the ESG funding will be used pretty generally for, uh, to support uh, a lot of our efforts around rapid rehousing, uh, primarily rapid rehousing, but anything related to homelessness, we, we're trying to expand it and so that we can maximize the use. Um, I'm happy this evening we're requesting that you approve the annual action plan budget that you authorize the expenditure of the grant and that you send the item to full council to order a public hearing uh, for May 4th. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. And as you can see, Sue Fink, um, Susan Fink, which is our manager of financial administrative services is also here. She can answer any questions uh, related to the finances and the budget. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it, Velma. Um, uh, this is Martinez Dominguez. And uh, <laughs> does anyone have any questions for her or Ms. Fink, who's joined her this evening. Mr. Chair. Mr. Piano. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mrs. Martinez Dominguez for uh, the presentation. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty aware of the, um, yeah, of what we're trying to, what we're working on today. Uh, uh, what I would just say is that the last uh, page on the, um, of the materials that was sent to us, is cut off. So if we can just make sure that, um, uh, if, if it could be, yeah, maybe it's just the electronic version, but if um, for the full council, if we can get the, um, there, there's about six organizations whose descriptions are cut off. I think they're fairly well-known organizations. Um, I happen to know uh, these six programs, uh, but I think for others that might not um, have had uh, an ability to, um, to work with them or, or know about them, it might be great if the council had um, that, that full information with them. Sure, I'll make sure, uh, Councilor Payano, that I get that to you. To all uh, the uh, Mr. Chair, if, uh, I'd like to make a motion, send it to the full council with a favor recommendation. There is, a there is a motion by Mr. Payano to send up to the full council with a favor recommendation, and it's been seconded by Councilor Levy. Is there discussion? Hearing no discussion, um, Madam Clerk, I would ask that you call the roll, please. Um, I just have a question. Are there a public hearing on this? That is correct. That is correct. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Bonus points right. this evening. <laughs> I would ask. I would ask uh, that the author please uh, amend his motion if he would. And, yep, and I'll do, I'll do just that. <laughs> and also, don't forget to send the full page because the full page on the back that is cut up. Yep. Okay, thank you. Uh, roll call for documents 6021 that was sent to the full council with favorable recommendation toward a public hearing. Councilor Anna Levy? Yes. 
Councilor Pavel Payano. Yes. Chairman David Abdul. Chair votes yes. The mass the um, item passes three zero. That's a favorable recommendation and to order a public hearing on May fourth. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much, Councilor. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a good night. And have a nice long weekend. <laughs> and are there are there other items that councils would like to take up this evening? Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. There's been a motion to adjourn. Is it seconded? Second. It has been properly seconded. Uh, Madam Clerk, I would ask that you take the roll, please. Okay, roll call to adjourn at 747. Councillor Anna Levy? Yes. Councillor Pavel Payano? Yes. And Chairman David Abdu? Chair votes yes. Item passes 3 nothing. We are adjourned. Thank you to my colleagues. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And uh, have a good night, everyone. Take care. Good night and good, good luck. Night. Good luck.